always hard to pick out a name for a band, and so uh, I think Hot Dog Stands is about as good as it's going to get. Hot Dog Stands came because we all love to stand. Kyle Geller has uh, put together Making a fucking album. And um, he is doing, I believe, a documentary on recording over at Luigi's, what's it called? U Oogie Boogie Studio? Well, it's a studio in downtown LA on 7th Street, 2155 East 7th Street, room 253, room 252. Check it out. <laughs> Oogie Boogie Studios, yes, and so uh, we went over there and did six songs. We did a record in two days. Three originals, a sort of original from my old band, The Falling Idols, and two covers. Uh, yeah, we banged it out, two days. Uh, we were supposed to do... Just to do it, you know, it's fun. And, um, we're uh, all well, six feet apart, wearing masks, of course, you know, in the case of uh, Eric Garcetti sees this, I do not want to get a ticket in the mail. So much. what are you doing here? Doing whatever Kyle tells me. Since I signed off on his, uh, on his legalese crap, I'm, I'm locked in. What's this one? You tell me. What are we doing here? Oh, recording. You said, like, hey, we're going to be recording. Should be, should be cool, should be easy. You know, whole 48-hour fucking thing is a little tough. <clears throat> you want to know the real story behind Hot Dog Stairs? Who, what, where, when, why? I want to do a video project for an album. I was like, yo, I don't know. I know all these Thai musicians. I should make this shit work. Hot Dog Stand is me on drums, uh, Luigi on guitar, sometimes Willie on bass, sometimes Luigi on bass, and uh, Kyle Geller, Kyle the actor, is the uh, vocalist. Oh yeah, and sometimes we make a guitar. Had a stand-up show coming up before all the fucking corona shit, and that shit got canceled. And you can't go do stand-up no more. You can't do open mic. Called up some of the best musicians I knew, and I was like, hey, you guys want to do this project? It was either sink or swim, man, because these motherfuckers are going to be the first ones to call me out. I was by far the weakest link. You guys help me do this, I'll cut it up, and fucking, uh, you know, we'll get it going. I got Luigi Torres. Like when people call me out and they do it, and they're like, oh, you did it. That's worth more than money, you know, because you're like, yeah, he called me out if I could do a record in two days. I can't. Doesn't matter because I still have to fucking wire up this kid right here. <laughs> Willie Viano, Dirty Dog Willie, Dirty Dog Willie. You gotta watch out for that guy, man. I don't know how that room started. I call him fucking mud. Well, I was at work and uh, Kyle, you know, texted me and he's like, hey, I need to get a drummer for uh, this project I'm doing. And I was sitting next to my boss thinking how much I hate him. And I uh, thought, sure, I'll come up there and do that. Because uh, Kyle the actor, you know, you want to get on the ground floor of a, a whirlwind, like, uh, you know, thing like this. So usually it's cool, you know, when I get into a project where I don't know the people that well or, you know, and then sometimes I end up, uh, you know, with a couple flops. Luigi and Mud are like pros of the pros. We just said, hey man, we're getting picked up early. None of us has played together. I've actually never done this shit in my life. It's gonna seem like five fucking days. Anyway, we're out here recording the album in two days. What do you do for a living? Play. I play guitar. Luigi. Guitarist, musician, artist, percussion, agent, whatever. <laughs> Engineer? Oh, yeah. Exciting. Yeah. 
Don't you want to keep I'll do our Yeah? He made some really cool uh, origami one day. He made a guitar out of a fucking napkin. And, uh, it was been cool ever since. Luigi's like, he's got a pretty good little studio. Um, it was kind of still in progress, which made it interesting. When we first started recording there, there was no uh, glass between the control room and the sound room. So we were in the sound room, it's kind of flying blind. And um, Luigi was also playing guitar and then running back and forth to kind of, you know, hit the on button. And Luigi was having a double up, bust the guitars first, then go back and record the bass. And he had a couple other friends who were helping him, including Willie, who ended up playing some of the songs on bass. Willie could just come in and pick up anything, that's great. Obviously, I don't know, man. I barely got the A for today. I was like, sounds good to me. And then Willie could play, you got, you got lucky. You're lucky we like you. They're like, what are you gonna do? I was like, uh, I'll fucking sing. Why not? Let's sing. I figure, you know, Kyle, the actor, he's taking improv classes and stuff, and uh, he's used to talking on mic, so he should be a little bit easier to work with. I've never sang in my life, I've never wanted to sing in my life. Uh, no, I could get disaster, you know? I mean, it's kind of like why people watch NASCAR wait for the car crash, you know? Aurora's, please don't stand! I got over the STD check after that. You banged him out? I don't know who's just, you know, everyone hates the room. That's our other, that's our other original. That was good. Like, if people like shit, it's hard to talk about it, but if people hate it, it's easy. I mean, I feel like everybody's got the fucking wrong blues. I wake up every morning, they're already tired. So, I'm at high risk. Corona, feel good, at, you know? I might have Corona. You know, if you want to say it's deep, I don't know, it might be. Only the political shit's a little easy. I hate this, I hate that, that's cool, I hate it too. I like this, I like that, oh, I don't like that. We were pretty wasted, and I think if you're gonna do a blues song, you need to be. Uh, like three more, I'm a fucking duck. The first song we recorded was uh, that cover song with, uh, with OT. We uh, we covered uh, some Ramones. I was blind. The Ramones song was good, I, I kept thinking it was a Misfits song. It was good though, I liked it. And OT came down, he lowered the style, and I was like, OT played this. And we played it and I was out of the water. He just came in and laid it down real quick. Bro, T man, thank you. So Mama's boy was dope because I didn't even have to play. I don't want to work in a hot dog stand, be a bus boy, messenger, or a doorman. It's an abstract world, you're an abstract man. Abstract city, don't give a damn. Couldn't keep a secret, gotta come. Sniffers from uh, from Australia. Oh, I like Amo and the Sniffers. I mean, they're like one of my favorite bogan bands out of Australia. We covered their song, I'm Not a Loser, which is, you know, debatable. Are we gonna be going out there saying, I'm not a loser, you're a loser? Song, we still might. We recorded the music. Actually, we recorded that before we even started this whole fucking thing. It's the only song we haven't finished yet, so hey, uh, we might, we might not ever do it. I don't know. Huge, like, Limp Bizkit fans, so I was already drawn in because of that. Fuck the char chocolate starfish, though, all right? <laughs> and relish. I love relish. Yeah? Oh, yeah, uh, HWH. That's like uh, one of the first songs we wrote in The Falling Idols. Uh, HWH. HWH was super cool, man, because uh, Mud actually wrote that song. Must have been like probably 1980. This is before Randy started playing bass in the band. He was learning bass himself, and so we were practicing at his house, 
and he wasn't playing, but we only had like about five songs. It was like when we first got Ross in the band. And he goes, hey, I got a song if you guys want to do it. HWH kind of, it comes from uh, Little Rascals. It's the He-Man Woman Haters Club. And I think uh, Kyle did a pretty good job on it. You know? From what I understand of the punk classic, and I just played so long, that's it. episode 27 that's three months of episodes we had one more we had one more to film and so out of necessity i guess you could say played we played la casa that's how that shit all ties in <laughs> Take one. How about Seth? <laughs> Check him out. And yeah, uh, that's what a 48-hour album, um, album bum, 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 looks like. You guys all fucking threw it down. It was awesome as shit. Alright, yeah. And that's uh, that's the story of uh, Hot Dog Stand. You know, I have to fucking take this shitty face stamp down the fucking hall and it just sucks.